June was a bit of a slower month with not as many updates, but it still delivered some big things from TypeScript to Vercel to a very interesting GitHub exploit and lots more. So let's dive into it. TypeScript 5.5 brings a lot of improvements, but some of the more notable ones include better type predicate inference. So it's better at determining the types of things, JS doc at import tag for type checking and a lot more. Similarly to how React no longer suggests using create React app to build React apps, React Native is now fully recommending you use a framework like Expo to create your React Native apps. Prisma ORM shipped version 5.15 with a feature I've wanted for so long now, which is just allowing you to split your schema into multiple files. It also turns out that Remix isn't hibernating. They shipped version 2.1, which wasn't adding anything mind blowing, but it brought a lot of patches and support for lazy route discovery. So it's definitely nice to see that there's still some movement there. There's really big anticipation for V6, which is coming soon, but they shipped 5.3 last month, bringing support for deck decorators, dynamic tree shaking, SSR import fixes, and a lot more. Speaking of SSR, the Supabase SSR package got some nice improvements when it comes to working with auth. Vercel AI SDK version 3.2 is out now with support for embedding models, multi-step agent workflows, and a lot more things like new utilities for observability and calling tools from the client side. And speaking of Vercel, their V0 tool introduced themes, things like using Shatsy and built-in themes and switching between themes, things like that. Leah Robinson also made a post on Next.js and where caching is headed. Basically with Next.js 15, fetch requests are no longer cached by default, route handlers are no longer cached by default, and client-side navigation will no longer keep a cached version for the last page for 30 seconds when using the link component or the use router hook. Astro 4.1 was announced, which extends the client visible directive to allow more control over component hydration. And they also added custom cookie encoding and decoding. A GitHub CSS injection vulnerability was discovered which allowed people to do some crazy things with their profiles it basically started off as a harmless joke but it led to actual vulnerabilities i'll leave the video that theo made on the topic in the description it covers the whole thing very well but yeah that's about it for last month sorry for the late video work and life has been pretty busy so i had to take a small step back from this but i'm back now and i have some big things planned for july like the video subscribe and all that good stuff